Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. You know, I've been thinking a lot about how God uses tragedy to, to produce and, and to accomplish the things that he wants. I've been thinking a lot about uh, that most, one of that most famous verses in the Bible, Genesis, or Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, excuse me for the slip of the tongue, Jeremiah 29, 11, where, where he says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Beautiful verse, and we love to grab hold of it, but we forget often and we divorce it from the fact that he's, he's sharing that through Jeremiah after he just told the people that they were going to be in exile in Babylon for 70 years. Like two whole generations in that time were going to be living in Babylon and Jerusalem was going to be uh, destroyed, the temple was going to be destroyed. But really, God uses this tragedy to do a transformational work. And then, of course, if you fast forward it into the New Testament, there might be no greater example of how God leverages grief and tragedy than the crucifixion of Jesus. Obviously, the, the greatest injustice in history is Jesus, the perfect, sinless, spotless Lamb of God being crucified by sinful people for sinfulness, even though Jesus never did sin. You know, and, But ultimately, you know, that cross gives way to an empty tomb. And so what you really realize is that God is in the business of transforming tragedy and bringing great and amazing things out of it. And that should be really a beautiful thing for us because if you're going through hard times and you and you maintain that hope that is in Jesus, knowing that God is a great redeemer and God has a greater purpose and all this stuff, now all of a sudden our hearts just really get encouraged because Lord, although I hate what's happening and I don't like what's happening, I know that you know the thoughts that you think towards me, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give me a future and a hope. And that should bring great joy and encouragement to our hearts. This is what I do. I want you to share this video because, man, talk about timely stuff. People have real things going on in their life. And in the comment section, I want you to share how God has taught you some of the most profound lessons through some of the hardest things that you've had to go through. And God bless you all today.